In problem number 27 of section 1.2, we uh, proved that the integral of uh, z to the n cosine of z, where n is a positive integer greater than or equal to 1, um, satisfies this rule where you know, it's equal to z to the n sine z minus z to the n minus 1 um, sine z dz. And there actually should be uh, an n right there. Uh, and we can prove this just using integration by parts. If we let um, u equal z to the n, then uh, du is n times z to the n minus 1 uh, dz. And if we let dv the rest of it, which is cosine z dz, uh, then v is equal to uh, sine of z. So now we can say that the original integral, um, the integral of z to the n cosine z dz, is equal to u times v, or z to the n sine z uh, minus uh, v times, minus the integral of v du. So v is sine of z and du is n times z to the n minus 1. So n z to the n minus 1 dz. And if we simplify this, you see that we end up with z to the n sine of z minus, now we can factor out an n. And if we just rearrange the uh, parts of the product on the inside, we get the integral of z to n minus 1 sine of z dz, which is indeed the desired formula.